Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about the seven domains and during our discussion we will go over some photographs which I include to give you a little bit better understanding of the seven domains and why they are so important to myself. Uh, we would we would touch on physical, emotional, inter intellectual, social, spiritual, environment, and occupational. And hopefully by the end of, the, of this presentation you will have a better understanding what what those core values mean by these photographs that we are about to discuss and see. First one we have is spiritual. I am a very spiritual person. That's why it's first. I think everything through the Lord Jesus Christ, um, everything will be okay. Everything by his will and way, uh, no matter if it's a, the, the roughest time in your life, or the, having the best time. Anything and all things are possible through God. So, as you see on the left picture, that is some of our members at Consuming Fire Ministry. Uh, if you look at the guy standing at the podium, that is our apostle. Um, the lady in the yellow shirt is his wife, our first lady. And then there are some few members in the congregation that you see um, at our service. At, at the photo underneath the description is our sign and the bullpit where all the body and governors of the church speak and when you come up to the podium um, to give the word or scripture or just say an announcement um, that is where this participates at um, some more of our pictures from the church uh, you see the band area the instruments that gets us gets our blood flowing but the only instrument the Lord requires is our mouth so sometimes um, we have technical difficulties and we just got to sing it on out and clap it on out. But hey, as long as we give him praise, everything's going to be okay. Emotional is the next domain I like to discuss. I had a very difficult time here in February 2023. I lost my number one lady 80 years on this earth. I miss her dearly. As you see in the photo, that's my mom. Been a very rough starter this semester. She's very sick with pneumonia and ended up losing her battle. But I am so grateful and blessed to have her for 43 years of my life. Um, I love her. I miss her every day. It's very fresh. But I, as you see, I can get emotional talking about Miss Susan. I love you, Mom. The next one is I want to talk about is, is fishing. I get emotional when I'm able to fish because it also gets made me provide for my family. If they want fish, we don't have to go to the store and buy it. Uh, if you see on that picture, I have catfish, I have bass, crappie. I have a variety of fish on that photograph, and that's probably about 20 fish. Um, it also lets you get relief stress, um, bring come back down some, a, a little bit of time to yourself. So I do go fishing with others, but I, I tend to go a lot by myself because it just gives me time to unwind. Um, the, the photograph you see below, I call that the dark night. That is my 2020 Charger GT um, that I take pride in. I get emotional when I see it when I walk out the door. I smile every time when it's cleaned up because uh, I know what I went through to get it. I know how much I love it and cherish it, even though it's material things. I worked hard to get that car, and I parked very far for nobody to hit my door at the grocery store for that car. <laughs> i tell you that. Another thing I get emotional are my kids from my heart. Um, I have two, two biological kids. I have Kevin, who's up there in the top left, and he's in, he just got out the military. He was in the Army for five years. And then in the picture you see with myself, that is my lovely daughter, Kayla. She's a little bit bigger now because she's 14, but that's when we like to do our our girls on the run, so I like to participate. And then on the right, you see my stepson, Josiah. Um, he's in third grade, and those kids are my world, and they have my heart. I get emotional, no matter if they make me upset, happy, bad, they have my heart. I wear my emotions on my sleeve when it comes to them. Physical. Planet Fitness at the bottom right is where I go to work out to release stress for the week. It allows me not to hold on to the stressful things that are trying to cause me pain, no matter if it's work, family, um, school. Um, it's very good to find you an outlet to relieve that stress. And a few workouts routines I do when I do 
visit Planet Fitness are included in this in this slide. Physical, uh, my Apple Watch allows me to track my steps and reach my fitness goals for the day. Basketball is where I get my physical con contact and competition. I may be still, I may be 43, but I still play basketball two times a week, sometimes even more, as long as my knees don't hurt. <laughs> Environment. Oh, if Jack and I talked before, fishing. Beautiful place with a brisk breeze off the lake just gives you that nature smell. I love seeing wildlife and also fishing around central Illinois. Work. Supply lines at Kraft Foods when shutting down the cheese side. If you see in the pictures of those lines and clamps are some of the in a control panel, we those are some of the things we do to provide safety when we're doing sanitation cleaning for some of the lines that are inside the plant. Some more of a, a broader view of it, the drain and every and all the gunk and comes comes out those holes. And when I tell you it comes out like a volcano, it comes out like a volcano. Jeez. Social. This day and age is a very social world. Uh, my Instagram page is the, is the first picture. I only have 35 followers. I'm not a very social person, but I do. It's where we get our information from. I still like to call my loved ones. Um, my Xbox, I play Call of, Duty, Call of Duty and Madden with my family and friends all over the world. Uh, out to lunch at the church service is that picture in the bottom left. We love to praise the Lord and eat after. And at the bottom right, it's me asking Nia on Instagram to do a survey for my other class since I know she's a teacher and it requires a teacher to fill out the survey. School, my acceptance letter. I am a 43-year-old freshman who never attended college. This letter was so exciting to receive in April, and that's why it's a big part of my schooling. My workstation for completing all these assignments you guys are assigned, the professors assign us. All my books for the spring semester. And my D2L, all my five classes listed on the other side on the right. 